Well, from what I could tell from movies, it would be like way more fun. You would get to meet your new roommates. Adriana Perez and her parents traveled from Modesto to move her into her dorm. But Adriana will have to live alone this year. No one can have a roommate. There's also a no guest strict policy and nobody's allowed on the floor that doesn't live there. But mom Annabelle Soto says it's worth it. She didn't go to prom, they didn't have a graduation how it should have been. Um, you can't live in fear. Bay Area mom Anna Marie Guevara agrees. She is moving her daughter Carolina Guevara and says even though students are moving in and won't be able to go to class in person, distance learning in the dorm is better for her daughter. She here she will be surrounded with students, teachers. My roommate that was supposed to be a roommate was is dorming right down the hall from me so I still get to interact with her. Universities across the nation have seen an increase of cases due to student housing, off campus parties and packed bars. Neighboring schools like Sacramento State are not allowing students to live on campus, but UC Davis officials say they have taken the proper precautions to reduce the spread. I think because of the campus screening process where they're both doing nasal and uh, saliva testing for students on a weekly basis. UC Davis said only 1,800 students are staying in the dorms compared to the 6,000 before the pandemic. UC Davis medical director Cindy Schwartzman says each student living on campus will be alerted by phone to take their weekly COVID test. And if they refuse testing, they have to move out. We have had three positives, um, two of which were previously known and continue to be positive, And we've had one indeterminate result.